Amanda with She's a Mad Gardener and today I'm going to be planting up some cucumber seedlings that I started and some tomato seedlings that I started. I'm going to be working with my cucumber, cucumbers right back here on my new trellises and I can't wait to show you guys how, guys how I got all that done. As a reminder, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that uh, notification bell so that you know when my latest videos are uploaded. Okay, so over here in my little greenhouse, I have cucumber um, seedlings. I'll have to go look up the variety. I forget at this moment, even got some cucumbers going on them. They're looking really good. And so I'm going to be transplanting them up on my new trellis. These are cattle panels that I cut in long ways. Okay, Carla has stopped. These are cattle panels that I cut lengthwise and then sunk them into um, these cattle troughs to go from one to one. And the idea being that we're going to put the cucumbers right here on the end and allow them to grow up on each of the trellises. My goal is to put a fourth one um, cattle um, trough, or excuse me, a water trough over there. And then I want to put a fifth one over here and still do the trellises. So then I would end up with four different trellises. My plan for these are to grow mostly veggies in here and then to also grow um, some strawberries. And then I would also like to grow a couple of um, plants over the edge. I've got some trailing lantana that I'm also gonna plant up today. Hey puppies. Okay, so this particular variety is called Garden Bush Hybrid. They're really good for pickling. This is about the full size of one, about three inches. Um, they're a little spiky, but the little spikes come off very easily. So that's really nice. So um, they'll be easy to pickle, chop up, all that good stuff. I started all of these from seed. The idea is I'm actually going to plant them right in this space right here and then train them to go up and over the trellis. I'm gonna be utilizing plant tone um, to get them started with fertilizer. So let me show you what I come up with. Okay, 
I'm gonna be potting up in two ceramic containers and I'm gonna be utilizing an iron trellis that I already own um, that I'm gonna have in each of these so that these um, particular, these are sweet 100s, um, the cherry tomatoes, and so that I can basically train them to grow up this. Now, the idea with a tomato, so when you're planting a tomato and you've got all of these different leaves going up, we don't want to plant it just right here at the base. We want to plant as much of this plant underneath as possible. So I'm actually gonna go through, break off these leaves, see all these leaves I'm breaking off, which I know is like super scary to people. And I'm going to bury the tomato all the way up to this point. Everywhere where I broke leaves off, it's gonna grow new roots, which is gonna make this plant stronger and more productive. Okay, I've got these planted tomatoes planted up. I buried them as deep as I could and I went ahead, I had existing drip here, so I ran drip and make sure I put one on each side, not real close to the stem, but out a little bit towards the root ball. I also made sure that I don't have any foliage that's coming down that can get splashed or that can touch the ground. That leads to disease very quickly for tomatoes. Same thing over here, you can see Eventually, if it's a little bit better, I'll probably take this guy off as well. A few more things. If you want to care for your tomatoes a little bit better, you can get rid of suckers, which is right here. These are in between areas. If you want to keep your main branches nice and strong, you see these coming up between the two stems. 
Go ahead and pinch those little suckers off and that will put growth into more fruit. And you can just pinch those off anytime you're outside. Okay, I'm also gonna tuck in two of these Lantana purple trailing. They're annuals, although sometimes in my area they are perennials. And so I think I'm gonna tuck in one right here and then probably one over there as well, just so that they can cascade over the edge and kind of soften this look. Okay, y'all, thanks for joining me today. Woo. Hope you guys enjoy watching me plant up in my um, new gardening troughs with my new trellis, putting up, um, putting in the garden bush hybrid cucumbers, and then also planting up those sweet 100 tomatoes, showing you how to get the most roots from your tomato plants and showing you how to keep them as disease free as possible. Hope you guys enjoyed it today. Make sure you subscribe. And as always, she's a mad gardener or decorator or anything else that she wants to be. Thanks y'all.